Can we catch him off guard? Can we catch him off guard? Does what we show y'all on YouTube actually work? Can we catch him off guard? Can we make him quit? Oh, did it work? Hey, just so y'all know what I put on YouTube actually works. In this video, we got my cheat code out of the single back trips. Everybody's always asking about this play every time they see the gameplay. Hey, what's that run? What's that run? What's that run? This is it right here, the RPO alert looky, and we're going to show you how to scheme around it. Um, those three plays right there, like, okay, to start off, the stretch out of this play alone is OP, and also the other run play, the HB zone weak. Both of those already OP as is, and then you add in the RPO alert looky. So let's just jump into the audibles. It's going to be those three. It's going to be the stretch uh, RPO, the inside zone, the regular stretch, and then this is the bread and butter setup, the street corner flat. The corner double in so those are going to be your four plays right there i always come out in the rpo first uh real quick personnel wise you want to put your fastest wide receiver at the middle position and you're going to see why you do not need the dolphins to get this done y'all see me play against or y'all see me play with all kinds of teams i don't want to hear that you can only do this with dolphins because we are going to get some dolphins gameplay using this scheme um just to show you how op it really can be uh but let's jump into the practice field show you how we set these plays up and go from there all right, we're going to go ahead and start it off with the play that brought you up to this video, the RPO alert looky. Now, this play is a default is deadly. You can run this stretch regardless of what defense they're in, man coverage or zone. Um, but the way I like to run it is motioning over the outside wide receiver. Just to show you what it looks like against a default cover three. As long as the cornerback is backed off of the line, like if they're not pressing, just run it as a default. You'll get some decent yards. Um, just depends on how your line picks up. If you have jukebox, this play, this scheme is a nightmare for your opponent. But that's what it looks like as a default. Now, the OP way to run it, how I always tell you how to run RPO stretches, motion over a wide receiver. He'll pick up a linebacker. He'll pick up a safety. Um, and they just have to respect the fact that he is running a slant. And you can do easy cutbacks. and get. I get one play touchdowns with this play a lot. Now, what you're going to do from there is you're going to scheme that with the inside run and the stretch. Now, if you ever see this gap right here, you're going to run the inside run, double team the, the D tackle, ID the linebacker, and just kind of go from there. Normally, the uh, there you go. He picked it up. That's what I was about to say. Either the inside wide receiver or the left guard that's on the double team will break off and go pick up that linebacker. Um, and you can also motion snap the wide receiver if you want to make everything look the same. But another thing that you like that I like to do is audible to the regular stretch. We're going to flip it to the left. Now, let's say that they're just heavy to the right because they're expecting that RPO stretch. Um, this is when you audible to the regular stretch and flip it. Now, you're not going to get the best results because we do got this DN all the way to the outside right here. So he might be able to make a tackle. But we're going to make everything look the same. We're going to motion over, make them thinking we're doing the RPO. And then we actually hit it to the left like this again when they gave you the look for that. Um, but that's just the run play alone. That's just a little run scheme. Let's get into where it really gets dangerous. All right. So now, all right. So now this is where the play gets deadly and you do not need Tyreek Hill to get this done. Again, I was just doing some Dolphins gameplay. If you have a good wide receiver that's slow, like for example, um, Stefan Diggs, really good release. You're going to bomb man coverage and zone coverage. If they press, what you're going to do is run the RPO, uh, the RPO stretch, you're going to do the same thing, motion the outside wide receiver, and you're going to look for why. You're going to lob this ball in the air. You're going to be a little patient, lob it. You're going to get a lot of one-play touchdowns like this. The faster your wide receiver is, obviously, the more chance for the one-play touchdown. But this destroys any press, if it's zone, if it's man coverage. And you can also hit the slants, which is the crazy thing. And then you can also still take the run play. So, like, let's say the run is looking good. You're going to just go ahead and take the run. And, again, if you got jukebox, this is just a nightmare for your opponent. So you have, like, a, like a double-edged sword right here when it comes to throwing the pass or throwing the run or not throwing the run, but handing the ball off. But, again, you're going to be patient. You're going to wait as long as you can. This is something you will have to practice. Wait as long as you can and then throw this ball up. You will break. This is one of the best routes when it comes to releasing against any type of press defense. Even if they're backed off about five yards, if there's no safety help over the top, I promise you, you will get a one-play touchdown. Now, most people, if you're using the Dolphins, will probably have some type of safety over the top. And if that's the case, then you go ahead and just take the run. Just hand it off. This is where the run is the most deadly when they are in man coverage. Um, you set that edge, and a lot of times it's one-on-one -on -one like this, and you can easily get a one-play touchdown just by running the stretch. 
Uh, and from there, we're going to go ahead and jump into the corner doubles in. Let me get the uh, defense into a zone coverage. All right, then from here, we got the bread and butter. Y'all already know the route combo. We're going to get a streak out there. We're going to put the middle wide receiver on a zig, and then you're free to do whatever you want with the tight end and running back. Um, I believe, yeah, okay. So if the wheel route is going to go to the open side of the field, put them on a wheel route. Go ahead and put the tight end on an in route and smart route it so you can have something coming across the field. But we're going to look for the high-low read between Y and B right here. You just got to read the zone drops. If they're low, go ahead and take the corner. If they're high, take the zig route. Y'all already know my, my combo when it comes to that. From here, we're going to jump into some gameplay and show y'all this being used against uh, real users in some head-to-head -head games. All right, we got game one. Again, this is going to be a Dolphins gameplay. Um, at the end, we will show the depth chart and all that good stuff. I know old boy has been waiting for me to drop Dolphins gameplay. Uh, we're just getting to it. See what we can do with the Dolphins. This is one of my teams that I actually like to play with. They're pretty comp. Can you do a bluff blitz out of this? You can't. Move that over. RPO, it's all right. We can have. We can let them have that. Audible down to an RPO. That's good to know. Uh, my two safeties, 94 speed, 93 speed. Um, pretty sure y'all are familiar with Nick Crossing. He is a pretty good user. <laughs> uh, and then we just got uh, Jalen Ramsey playing that curl route for me on the inside. That's me. Oh, I could have got to that. Almost, almost had it. We send the pressure. We send. The, let, let's send the blitz. Let's send the blitz. See what he does. Let's see how he reacts. Oh, and might be low key perfect. Let's move him down. We're gonna guess pass. We're there. We're there. He was looking for that running back. You can just tell he was waiting on that running back to get open. I'll take it. Run this. And then both of my sub linebackers. One's ninety two speed. One's ninety one. Solid users. There we go. That's what we wanted to do. Middle's open. Oh, that was just a terrible decision on his part. All right. Now it is time to get a little toxic. Um, this is a headache to guard. The run plays and then just the pass plays in general. Um, yeah, this is tough. Let me make sure I got the personnel right on the field. We want our fastest at the slot. I mean, it really doesn't matter who you put at the slot when you're using the Dolphins. I mean, they're all goons. All of them. 95 speed plus the whole squad. All right, looks like he's playing some type of... You know what? Let's run to the inside first. Make it simple on ourselves. And see, the thing about playing the Dolphins is you have to worry about over the top. You can't press. Like, uh, that's not going to do you any good by pressing. We're going to actually try to see if we can hit it. Um... You know what? Because they're so backed off, we're going to run the regular stretch. We're going to flip it. Double team this outside guy. Let's go ahead and ID this outside guy. Hopefully we can get some good blocks. We got a good left tackle over there. Perfect. 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 I'll take it. All right. And from here, we're just going to keep them going. We, we, we hit him with a couple things inside, outside. Now we're going to go for the, uh, the corner play. I want to do this to the open side of the field, the white side of the field. Give my corner route a little bit more room. Um... Looks like he's running my defense, low key. Like he's bringing the safety down. We're gonna actually let's just put the running back on a crow for a good check down in the middle. Sent the blitz. Sent the blitz. I'll take it. Um, what's his name? Tua's got that that corner dead eye basically, where if you throw it to the corner without leading it or free forming it, it's like a perfect pass every time. So we're gonna take that. We hit him with the stretch. Uh, we haven't hit him with the RPO stretch yet, so that's good. We still got that in our, our back pocket. You know what? Just to show y'all how good um, that stretch. Nah, never mind. We already picked our play. I was going to actually go for the two with it. Uh, get a little toxic, but it is all good. This is risky because I got to watch Valdez. Oh, that was dumb. Oh, but he got lucky. You see what I did there? That's part of being a good user. I was tracking. Um, I don't want to say the tight end. I want to. Got to give him his respect, Kelsey. I was tracking Kelsey, but then I dropped off on him and I let him be because I know I had a zone where he was going. 
So I was, you know, coming down to pick up whatever was coming across, and then obviously the running back or the quarterback going on the scramble. That's part of being a decent user, just understanding things like that. <laughs> See what he does right here. We are a little sick. My apologies if you if I got the uh, stuff he knows. I'm there. I'm there. Yes, sir. Good user. Just understanding route combos. Understanding what could possibly happen out of a formation that's going to improve your user. All right, we're back in this area. We're going to go ahead and set up the corner route. This is perfect uh, depth to get that one play touchdown with it right here. Yeah, we're just taking that right there. Just taking that quick that quick pass right there before his play uh, his route even develops. No reason not to. Same play as last time. See how I always move my guys around. I'm always moving my guys around. I never keep them in a the spot they're supposed to be in. Nice, nice, nice. We locked everything up. Anything that was possible for him, my user taking this away, taking that away. Those are just things that make your opponent make mistakes. He shouldn't have thrown that ball. Um, probably something that normally works for him, but we just took it away. Uh, perfect, perfect setup for that defense. All right, this is game three. Um, that game against the Eagles was just short. He ended up quitting after that pick. I left it in because it was a little informational about you know how I'm moving my guys around on defense. Um, so I kind of just wanted to leave that in there. I know there was no offense to that, but again, just a little bit more information on how things are set up. We might just send a blitz. I think we're just going to send a blitz. My responsibility is the tight end right here because there is nobody guarding them. Nice. Nice run. Right there. Again, y'all already know how much I stress the user in the safety. If I didn't use her the safety, I know I sound like a broken record, but that safety would have been dropping back, dropping back, dropping back. That would have been wide open. Don't tell me we got another quitter. Bro, let's just get a solid game in. I thought this man was about to quit. Let's get a little toxic, man. He might quit after this. All right, we're going to get a little risky. Now, this does look like... This does look like man coverage. We're going to do a double slant with a zig route. But we're going to make it look like the RPO. Might be zone. If it's zone, I don't know. Actually, don't know who I'm going to go through. We got Y. We got Y. I, that was a risky pass right there. Um, but a lot of times when you see a user and they see that zig, they like gravitate towards that zig route. Because if he didn't pick up the zig, it would have been open. I took a chance right there. That could have went either way, honestly. That was just a high risk, high reward type of play. But it did go into our favor. <coughs> Trips. Let's lock it up. Let's lock it up. I'm baiting that. Oh, good play by our sub linebacker. This man is 05 with a pick. All right, when they give you this look right here, there's nobody outside the tight end. I mean, the DN is somewhat. Normally, I just take this stock and I don't even motion over. Yeah, that's perfect. Dirtle. Yep. Tell you, man, that Jurdle is your best friend. Fourth and goal, I think we're going to go for it. We're going to go for it. Um, I feel like he might run commit. Uh, we're going to we're gonna go for the double out concept. We're going to block everybody, and we're just going to look. I'm going to look for that zig first on the outside. I'm pretty sure that zig is going to be open. Oh, he ran commit. That's fine. Good play. I seen it there, too, but I just made a mistake. Good play by him. I got to give him that. Give him his credit. I'm going to send it again. We're gonna send it again. We're gonna pass commit this time. Might good. Oh, I know he's hot. You threw that too late. You threw it too late. All right, we're gonna take this. They're giving me the good look. There's nobody outside my tight end. Just gotta worry about the safety. Got jukebox. That'll take care of that one on one. I'm liking it. Right here, we're gonna go for the corner route. This is perfect yard. It's 17 yards. We're gonna go for the corner route. Manned up, man blitz right there. Go for this corner route. Looks like he's playing cover two. Might have went to a man. What are you doing? All right. This looks like man coverage. What I always tell y'all when it's man coverage, make it simple on yourself. Going to run a simple double slant and a curl. There it is. See, he tried to do it, and he waited too late. That's how you throw a curl route against man coverage. Got it right back. He made a mistake. I made a mistake. Everything's back in order. All right, so this man is trying to, like, uh, run commit. 
do all this extra uh he got me once with it i think we're gonna he ran commit to the right when i motioned over and i run the rpo so we're gonna run the regular stretch and hope he run commits to the right because i'm motioning over no not that time but just look at that the power of the rpo just drags everybody to the right so we, whenever we flip the regular stretch it goes into our favor again this is what makes this game just all work together can we catch them off guard can we catch them off guard does what we show you on youtube actually work can we catch them off guard can we make them quit oh did it work hey just so y'all know what i put on youtube actually works all right possible cover two this is how you bomb cover two i'm gonna show you right here that you can do this setup in any formation let me see if i can talk y'all through this if it is cover two you have to put as long as you have two out routes as long as they're past 10 yards and you have a streak somewhere by the hash mark you can bomb cover two or cover two man it doesn't matter he is playing that safety but we got it we got it as long as there's a speed mismatch you can bomb cover two man or cover two just like that all right for the people that wanted to see the depth chart see how i have things set up for the dolphins um if you are running my defense again you got to trust the process if you you don't like the way i'm running it by all means run it however you want to but you see the success I get with the picks. So when I'm using the Dolphins, I actually keep Jalen Ramsey and Xavier Howard at the starting one and two. Um, Eli Apple and Cam Smith are going to be my slots. They're perfect for the position. Six foot one, six foot 90 speed, 91. I can deal with that. Safety, 93 speed, pretty good acceleration and a decent change of direction. I wish this was a little bit higher, but the fact that he's 93 speed, 93 excel, I can work with that. And then we got my main guy right here crossing. 94 speed 92 92 change of direction is huge five foot ten is not bothering me too much um but if you do if you can find somebody a little bit taller but obviously you just can't beat 94 speed again these are my slots they're playing my curl flats some they sometimes they do swap with Jalen ramsey and xavier howard but for the most part they're going to be on the slots and then my two users in the middle again 59 overall but that is not what we're here for we're here for 92 speed um decent excel I mean, change of direction when it comes to safeties. They're not the greatest, but 82 is definitely better than a linebacker. And then uh, Holland, 91 speed, six foot one, the best, probably the best user on this team, just overall build. Um, but that is how I set up my DBs. Nothing crazy on offense. I mean, you can use either one of these running backs. Obviously, one has jukebox or elusive. I'm not sure. Yeah, basically elusive is jukebox and uh, spin cycle put together. Uh, but that's basically it for the team. That's how we run it. That's going to be it for this video.